Well, I've had several people ask me what this giant belt is in the back of the MCI bus here. Uh, it's a big one, and it's super dangerous when you first start it, no matter what. It goes up to, there's two squirrel cage fans in here. Let's see that on the inside. One on each side. And there's a little miter box that it spins here in the middle with the shafts that go out the side. So that's what spins the fans for the radiators. The radiators are mounted up here, up high. So this is, they start at the bottom of them, it's probably six foot off the ground. So six to almost nine feet, maybe eight and a half feet up. There's one on each side, there's two radiators. They're way up on the side there. That's why you gotta, when you gotta add the coolant, it's way up there, you gotta get a ladder to do it. So anyways, there's a tensioner on this belt here. It's driven by air pressure. So when you're running the bus and you build up air, then this thing comes out a little bit and it tightens up the belt. But before that, that belt is loose as shit. It's very dangerous. Uh, and we don't have the shutdown hooked up on this bus yet. So to shut this down, I gotta reach my hand between there and pull this back to shut the governor to the off position. This is mounted on here. This is from the fire truck. He, the shutdown that used to be on here was an air cylinder that would go out and, and, and move this lever here. But when the guy changed it, he didn't keep any of those parts. And this is off the fire truck. Now this volt, this bus is uh, 24 volt. I haven't tested this yet. If it's if 24 volt is going to work with this, it might just be a 12 volt. It's a solenoid, electric solenoid now that would pop, that would suck in to, to pull this back to shut it off. So we're, we bought some stuff to make an attachment for here, but I got to test this to make sure it works with 24 volt. Otherwise, I might have to wire it off of his house system on there. And then there's these other large belts that are on here. These go to an air conditioner. Uh, and this is the factory onboard air. And same thing, it's got a, uh, an air tensioner on those belts there too. And then if those weren't enough belts for you, oh, MCI, oh, spider, um, has all these belts here on this alternator, which that is a 50 DN. It's like 230 amps, 24 volt alternator with four belts on it. Uh, it's a little better to have the belt driven than the gear driven because the gear drives sometimes fail and when they fail, it destroys the gear train in there and you'll ruin an engine. Uh, the GMs are known for doing that. Uh, so it's, it's probably better that it has this. But uh, I, don't, I don't enjoy particularly changing belts on these things. So everything this bus has been doing real good. But I figured I would just do a quick video about what this belt was because I've had so many people ask what it's about. And it looks so damn dangerous. And it is. I make sure, you know, I got short sleeves on, but I don't, I don't know, I'm trying to get my clothing up next to it. So hopefully tomorrow we'll get that hooked up and working if it does work. Otherwise, I'm going to have to hook it up on the 12 volt side, which he does not have a 12 volt battery on it yet. And I'm not sure if I can get that off the vanner or not. Uh, I think I can. I, I don't know how this thing's wired. So the engine sounds real good. We're not going to put a muffler on it. We were just going to, I, I mentioned that maybe I said the word muffler, but I just meant a pipe to take this down and get it out. Right. We want to put these back doors back on when he drives home, but we can't have this exhaust right in the engine bay. It needs to get down through that hole and then out under the bumper. So the exhaust gases are getting away and the heat and all that are out of the engine compartment. So hopefully that answered a few questions for you. Giant belt of death.